Well, welcome back into the studio and this layout, continuing on with our layouts in the Lark Journal. Um, this is a layout number four, uh, part five of the series, because we did start with the basic binding. And here you can see that I am using some of the heavy body gel to adhere the next set of tabs for our tab binding. So every other layout we switch out. So this one's canvas, last one would have been lace and the next layout will be lace again. So I'm just getting that laid out um, so that the tabs can become part of the full two page spread. And I'm using um, various types of um, text and um, scrap pieces of paper. I'm trying to keep the same kind of look throughout the whole journal um, because it is one theme. So the text that you see on the big pieces of text are from a 1920s ladies home journal and they are a lot of fun. There's it's uh, definitely yellowed and aged over time. And so that is a lot of fun to use with that throughout. And then I have these pieces of wood. Um, it, it's like an image, it's heavier weight paper and it's of a image of a wood, of pieces of wood. And I'm using those throughout as well. And yeah, these are those pieces right there. And I'm just bringing in some of the similar um, pieces that I've used throughout and getting them kind of laid out so that I can come in with my focal point, which will be a variation of an image of Linda Lewis herself. And while that paper from the Ladies Home Journal was really crispy because it was so old, this paper that I'm working with now is, um, it's all handwritten. The handwriting is just gorgeous. And um, I have gone in and uh, tea or coffee stained that. But it is a newer paper and so it's, it's very pliable and easy, easier to work with. So I got that all laid out and now I'm just coming in with the same type of coloring that I did. I, of course, I'm using my fingers and um, like I have a tendency to do, I just really like how I get connected with the surface that I'm working on. And so this uh, paint is a Titan buff and I pretty much stick to uh, four different colors, a Titan buff, which you see here, and then a Naples yellow, a yellow ochre, and a burnt umber. And um, so I am, again, once again, just to hold tight to that theme throughout this um, journal, I am using the same basic colors that I have.
So this image I'm coming in with now doing some fussy cutting on is an image that I pulled off the internet and then I took it to um, my software and I've done some digital um, reconstruction. I've used some filters on it. I've pulled um, out the full color. I've revamped some of the um, clothing that she had on and then I went in and superimposed some of the words from one of her song into the area of her hair. So I'm coming in now with my scissors and really just poking a hole in the um, large cell cardboard here because I want to kind of embed that button that I've um, painted and distressed. So my thought is to come in with some of this E6000 and trying to get it to sit really low in on the page. Uh, it didn't quite work out exactly the way I had wanted it to. Um, so, and I also did put this, these fibers back there trying to um, kind of hold it in place a little bit first and then I come in with some paper and kind of stuff the inside of that cell with it. And now that I got the image of Linda Lewis laid down, I'm coming in with some craft paper, which I'm gonna just get kind of crinkled up and spritz with some water and get some color laid down on it. I'm just trying to age it a little bit, give it some interest. I'm gonna get that dry and use that as another element on the page.
So I put a layer over the image of Linda Lewis um, to protect it, to get it laid down, because I knew there wasn't anything else gonna be going on there, and I just wanted to seal her in. And then I'm gonna lay down that craft paper with some words from one of her songs. And a final touch with some of the Secura Jelly Roll pen in white, just doing some scritch scratch marks in uh, different areas across the, the page. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, click on the red subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. In the upper right hand corner is an iCard. You can click on that if you want to see more videos similar to this. Thank you.